stands a lone writer. Cigarette lit, whiskey on his breath, and nothing to feel except the warmth of his smoke filled lungs exhaling against the cold air. Not a worry, not a care, no sorrow, no joy. Eat, sleep. Work, drink, repeat. Tragic. While others seem content in their ignorance, the writer, not. Alone in his awareness, he tragically partakes finding no meaning, no purpose in this world. Yet still his mind wanders yonder, and far to think of such a thing could exist. That he could exist. What is life? Then, it happened. She happened. The girl in the yellow dress. There she sat. And there he stood. The world around them seemed to cease. To be suspended. yellow seemed to shine like a star, bringing light to the eternal night of his dull grey world. To him, she was everything. To her, he was relief, for alone she had felt with the colour she thought no one would ever see. His meaning in life, the girl in the yellow dress, so he thought. Years passed and he remained colorless, and still he found himself bound to his dull gray world, and he felt she was to be a part of it, and other people should see her color too. She never went out into that world, for him, 
she did. Trying to be the color he lacked. The color he wanted. So she changed. He had never seen purple. A color he found inconsiderably more pleasant than yellow. And the others could see it too. And one day, she was gone. He awoke, and like a wisp of smoke, she had vanished from his life. Like the last talk of a cigarette, all that was left is the lingering scent of what used to be and the stale taste of something that once was so pleasant but now turned foul. At first, there was nothing, the pure inability to comprehend. And then, the feeling sink in, like the teeth of a wolf that tears into the flesh of the hopeless deer. The hysterical crying coupled with pain and anxiety that eats away in his chest. Nothing he had felt before. Wishing he could go back to not feeling at all. Broken, heartless, and hollow. His rational mind consumed by his irrational thoughts. His mind ensnared by maddening loops of thoughts that have no end, no answer. What did I do? Why did I do it? What's wrong with me? Why didn't I? Why? Alone, his loud thoughts become silent. And in the silence, revelation. As if possessed, he arose. Notepad and pen set in motion. His writing allowed him to ease his conscience and find clarity. Sorrow wasn't needed. For now, he sees that neither him nor her was to blame. Their bodies lived in one house, but their souls lived elsewhere. The people in your life are a blessing or a lesson. The end of it all is nothing more than an experience and its perspective. For what is life? But what you make of it. Now all that's left are the memories of the girl in the yellow dress and her lesson. That to create change around him, he would have to change with him. So I go now search of who I'm truly meant to be, so that perhaps one day I may find myself in a color of my own, for this is my story, I am the lone writer, and so are you.